What is up everybody? It is Life's Apprentice. We're out running dumpsters today. It is Thursday and uh, school's about to start. So Chelsea was busy with the kids and uh, me and Laura are running dumpsters. So pretty busy Thursday. We got a lot of pickups, a couple drop offs, but uh, first one's right here. And uh, we're gonna get this picked up. And One little tip here, you see that swimming pool, those little swimming pools, we've had them come out of the dumpster before. So that was sitting kind of on the top and what'll happen is the window catch it, it'll actually take it out because they're pretty flexible, it'll actually take it out right underneath your tarp. Um, so if you guys see those on top, um, either throw them in the back of your truck when you're taking them on the highway or um, put something heavy on them because we have had those come out of the dumpsters and it's not like it's heavy or going to damage anything but on the highway it could freak somebody out and cause an accident so a little tip for you all right first one picked up we're going to get this to the dump here we go another kind of new phenomenon here is uh we've been setting dumpsters for subscribers this dumpster that i'm picking up right here is for sean and he actually lives really really close to me um he's moving he watches some of my you know hunting and fishing type videos and knows about the dumpster business i don't think he watches too much of the dumpster videos which is fine um but uh i appreciate the business and then we uh we went and set some dumpsters for another company i believe they do dumpsters as well um out of the milwaukee area and uh they needed some dumpsters that was a little bit too far for them and uh up in our range and uh, we ended up setting some dumpsters for them so you local people who watch and uh you know whether you watch the dumpster videos or you know some of my other types of videos i i appreciate the business and the support and everything like that and uh it's pretty cool to um see the community i guess that's created local people and people all around the country it's really cool um, and when I started YouTube, I never imagined that even now, I think we have over 8,000 subscribers and, uh, that's just amazing to me that 8,000 people want to watch me, uh, blab to a camera. So I appreciate you guys, all of you. Um, and, uh, it is pretty cool to see the community growing and the amount of people watching and stuff like that. And I still love making the videos, so I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Here we are at the yard. Show you guys the yard. Oh, I always like to show you guys the yard just so you see. We got two 20s over there. We got a full 20 and a full 15 right here. Chelsea's been running dumpsters by herself, and last week was really busy, so this week was really busy as far as pickups go. Um, but we got uh, quite a few dumpsters sitting here. I know... Uh, the phones have been fairly busy, but last week, like I said, was one of our busiest weeks of the year. And now a lot of them are coming back, and I don't know what uh, all is going on today and um, what all is going on tomorrow, but I would imagine we'll be setting a few dumpsters. Anyways, we got this 15-yard emptied. We're going to get this set and uh, keep on keeping on. We got uh, quite a few dumpsters left to do. 
I made a video about this driveway the other day. The hardest driveway I've ever seen. And the reason why, well, it'll be easier today because I don't have a dumpster on the trailer, but with a 20 yard on there, coming into here with trees and such on both sides, and you get in here and it's basically a 90 degree turn all the way back. I don't leave a comment, your hardest driveway. I mean, this is literally trailer tires touching both sides. And uh, this 90 degree turn right here is interesting to say the least. Leave a comment, what's your hardest? I don't know, I find this one pretty difficult just because you don't have visibility with a 20 yard on there, you can't see on either side of it. And uh, that 90 degree turn is interesting. We got the dumpster picked up behind us and we'll let you guys see this driveway on the way out. You guys are gonna run into driveways like this, so you better be prepared. I don't, there's no way a roll off truck's getting in here, I don't think. I'm taking her wide. And the trailer's hitting these weeds on each side. But this is the trickiest part right here is this blind 90 in the woods. You gotta get it just right or you're gonna end up in the trees. And look how close we are. All right, we got this 20 yard set. I don't know, there's a restoration company here, so I don't know if there's uh, water damage or mold or something like that going on. They got all the junk sitting outside, looks like already. So that's the one we picked up and got it right back. Now we got another pickup, it says it's 12 miles away. So go pick that one up. There's Chelsea up there. And right here in front of us is uh, rent a dump And these guys have gotten really big. They've been a big success story. They watch the videos. They're from uh, north of us. They have, I think he said they started in March and they were up to almost 20 trailers or dumpsters. I know they have uh, dump trailers and um, roll offs. So they're actually killing it. And I see them here all the time when I'm coming. Chelsea's over there. Laura was driving this morning and uh, Chelsea had stuff to do and then Chelsea took over for Laura this afternoon so that Laura could answer the phones. And hopefully she's selling a whole bunch of dumpsters for tomorrow. Well, somebody definitely had some wet paint in that dumpster that I dumped. I got all over the stingers and the dumpster. You guys do this, you're gonna get it. There's nothing you can do about it. And most of the time you don't see it. So I figured I'd show you guys that. Not the first time or the last time. And Chelsea just got back with a 10 yard. And she looks like she's gonna get this to the dump. What are you doing? Picking up my full dumpster. Why do you get all the shiny stuff? Uh, because there's a nail or something in the tire on the other trailer. I'm taking this home and then I'm gonna go tomorrow morning at 6.40, dump it, get back before Tim gets there so Tim can get to his eight o'clock, hopefully. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. You're going to pick up that first one? Don't tell the video that. Oh, sorry. It's top secret. I just dumped a whole crap load of paint. Backwards. I did that the other day. You got my dumpster all painted. Yeah, I have one like that. It was dripping out the back. Oh, I was this like, I'm going to take it all the way down the highway. I took my snow shovel and shoveled the paint out. Ew. Are you, you won't make it to the dump, you? No. All right. So well, we're going to get this bad boy set down and uh well chelsea spoiled it we're going to pick up the burnt dumpster here we go all right 
right, we are here. And people have been dumping in here, I suppose. So now we gotta move some of this stuff and it's nasty. It's nasty. Here it is. There she is. We don't have time to get to the dump, so we're gonna take it home. We'll talk more about it there. Well, there you can see her behind me. Um, we got authorized to pick up the dumpster. Um, I wanted to make sure that I did it and that I take it to the dump because I'm worried that there's gonna be stuff stuck in there, melted in there and stuff like that. But uh, I will give you guys all the greasy details in tomorrow's video. Um, tomorrow I'll be doing some dumpster driving, including this one, trying to get it to the dump. I'll let you guys follow along and watch that. And I will give you the update on uh, the whole situation. It's not good. Um, that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys have ideas for dumpster videos or topics you want me to talk about, leave them in the comments. And uh, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time.